Hey, what's up guys and welcome to Mobile Wiz Tech. If you happen to have a Google Pixel or Pixel XL, surely by now you would have noticed that your phone does not vibrate once it's plugged in to be charged like some of the other Android phones or iPhone. However, there is a workaround for this. The name of the app that you can use is called Mac Droid and I will have a link posted in the description for you and it's free. But once you run the app, go ahead and tap add macro and you're going to flick your screen down till you see power connected slash disconnected. Tap that and ensure that power connected is selected and then tap OK. And then on this screen, you're going to select vibrate and tap vibrate. And the first or second option will give you a quick pulse vibration. So choose one of those and then tap OK. And then tap the check mark. Now for constraints, we wouldn't need it here, but it will come into play later. So go ahead and tap the check mark. For uncategorized, choose one of the options here. I'm going to choose notifications and then give this profile a name. Vibrate when charging. And then tap OK. Now if you wish to hear a sound as well when you plug your phone in to be charged, go ahead and tap add macro again. And you're going to choose the same option, power connected slash disconnected. Tap OK. But instead on this screen, you're going to choose play slash stop sound and then choose one of the options here I'm going to choose chime and then tap OK and then tap the check mark now for constraints we're going to choose ringer volume and then ensure that volume on is selected and then tap OK that way as long as your phone is not on vibrate you will hear a sound when you plug your phone in to be charged choose one of the options here again notifications and then give this profile a name charging sound is what I'm going to name this one and then tap OK then tap macros over there on the left and then you're going to choose one of these options choose the first one at the top then tap actions over here and then tap add constraint and then scroll down and tap power connected and then ensure that power connected is selected and then tap OK Tap the check mark at the bottom and then do the same thing for the second profile. Now, once you have completed this, you should be good to go. Now, if you want to get rid of that ongoing notification up there, that gear icon, go into the app settings and then tap notification, notification priority at the top and then tap minimum. And then down there at the bottom, it states force hide icon. You can check that off so it won't show in the notification tray. However, if you are experiencing issues with the app, go ahead and check it, I mean, uncheck it. That way you can resolve that issue. And that should be good to go. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Also, please click like, subscribe, and also share. And as always, I thank you for watching.